Hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless you, viewers all over the world. From wherever you're watching, this is your prophet, prophet Dr. David Kigleo Elijah. This is the prophet that God is using to speak to our nations on things that will happen and things that must happen. I am the prophet that God has used to give us a 2020 prophecy. All the things that has been prophesied, all has come to pass. I don't know if you have been able to watch this video or you have not watched this video. If you have not watched, please watch the tune and watch this video and see what God and God alone can do. All the prophecies, all the things God revealed, all of them has come to pass. In other words, God is a faithful God. God does not tell us things he knows that will not happen. Before anything happens, God always open our eyes and show it to us and we see the things God say. We see them coming to pass. So, glory be to God. Watch this video. As you watch this video, you will be also the one to judge by yourself and tell if God is real or not. But I want to let you know that God is real and God is still speaking. God is not mute uh, in your condition, in your situation, in your life. God is not mute. Just watch this prophecy. God. Lord, touch my tongue and finish the word alone. February 24th, there's going to be an international pressure on Nigeria government. Write the date. There's going to be an international pressure on Nigerian government. And uh, this pressure will lead to a point that the country will now begin to search for remedy to the pressure. What is the pressure? The pressure is pressure about agitations, pressure about religious and different pressure is going to start the month of February I see towards ending from 24th February ending I'm seeing a pressure that come upon Nigerian government and this pressure become international pressure the pressure that begin to escalate to a point that Nigerian government will now have no option but than to come to a dialogue, a serious dialogue. A serious dialogue. This 2020, there's going to be a heat of politics. The policy, politics of the country will heat up. The heated up is for the interest. If for interest, I am seeing international interest in Nigeria. International interest in Nigeria. I see aeroplane, aeroplane from white countries coming into Nigeria for serious negotiation and meeting. Please write, 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 write. Write. These things are starting in the month of February. I'm seeing the month of February. Month of February. Month of February from towards ending of February. Begin to go towards there and the March. This year, 2020, is a year for preparation. A lot of people will be kicked off the politics. A lot of people will be kicked off because of the year 2023. This year is not 2021, it's not 2022, but it's 2020. But in 2020, I see people now begin to, I see which hunt. I see which hunt. I see a lot of people being kicked off out of the politics. Just like what happened to Ojo Zakalo. I see a lot of people now being pursued politically and I begin to ask a question where are they pursuing them they say they want to 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 to, to a kind of uh, a kind of remove power from their hand so that they will have nothing to stand with in 2023 in 2023 take note 
I see promotion for people that are working in government. I see promotion for them. I see promotion. I don't know if you are a government worker and you are here. I see a promotion coming. I see a promotion coming. I see approval of the minimum wage. I see it being released to be paid. I see that one. That one begin to the payment now begin to enter people's hand. Begin to enter people's hand. I see people that has nothing from nowhere rising to become somebody. That one that concerns you now, I see people from nowhere rising to become somebody. People that has nothing, I see them rising and see them becoming somebody. And uh, this year, 2020, I see an easy access, an easy way for the people that want to walk abroad. I see God making it possible for them. I see God making it possible for them in the name of Jesus. Another thing you are going to be careful with 2020 as good things are coming, evil is increasing. I see people trying to look how they will take away money from people, but they will not see you. I said they will not see you. I said they will not see you. Bank, bank, pray for Nigerian bank. I see another bank sold out. I see a bank, a bank for security purpose. I will not call the name of the bank. But this 2020, I see a bank like this went down and they had to sell the bank out to another bank. I don't know the bank that is, you know, in the realm of the spirit, I cannot tell you the name now to avoid security, security purpose. I see a bank, a bank being sold to another bank, a bank. A bank well known in Nigeria. I see the bank now go down, and the now another bank now take it over. I see the name change from his name to another bank. May that not affect your money. I say, may it not affect your money. I say, may it not affect your money. Nigeria is coming to a point where things is either it get better, it get fine, or it become a share. A share. 2020 is heating up to a point that I see a man called Namdekano. I see a man called Namdekano. The man called Namdekano. I see the world giving him a word. I see international community. I see the whole world coming to give him a word. And they are giving him, that, giving him that award in Nigeria. I see as they are giving him that award, they are bringing him, and I see Namdekanu celebrating. I don't know whether he's celebrating independence. I don't know. But I'm seeing a celebration. I'm seeing a celebration. I'm seeing a celebration. And when the question was going on in the realm of the spirit, I heard a voice that said, that this man has sacrificed a lot. He has sacrificed a lot. He has sacrificed lives. He has sacrificed his life, sacrificed time, and dedicated. And because of that, they begin to give something like an award. I see him receiving something like this from the sky. They give it to him. He was carrying it. It's like a map. And I see people celebrating. I see people celebrating. I see people celebrating. And when that celebration was going on, I see three generals. Paragi de gros standard. I see three generals in the realm of the spirit. I better ask who are those generals? They took me back in the old time. They began to call name of three major generals, people that have come and gone. I don't know whether they are alive or they are not alive, but it was three generals. I see them standing. One stand here, another one stand here, no one stand here, and uh, the man called Namdekano is in the front. And they were saluting him. They were saluting him. That one is by the side. I see in the realm of the spirit, I see Nigerian government begin to beg for an evil man to take over the power. I don't know why they are begging the man to take over the power. I don't know, but what I saw in the spirit, I see a man from the eastern part of Nigeria. They are now begging him with Nigerian presidency. 
They say, please take it. Take it. You say, what am I going to do with it? What else? They say, no, take it now. Even if it is two days, take it. Take it. Makadabraskada. I don't know. I don't know what it means. But in the realm of the spirit, I see them giving it to him. And as they're giving it to him, he begins to say, ah, I don't know. Then another person, you pray for the godfather politician in Lagos. Uh, Tinubu, pray for him. The enemies are too much. I see Tinubu in the middle. I see the enemy surrounding him. I see the enemy surrounding him. And when they surround him, they say, we must dethrone you all miss. And I see the man cry and say, what is my offense? As he was crying, a hand is up that is ready. If the man called Tunubu can stretch his hand for the hand above, that hand will pick him up. But the problem now is how can he be able to hook on to the hand that is above? I see enemy all around him. What they want to do, they want to make sure he go down by all means. They want to make sure he go down by all means. The enemies that surround him, I begin to look at the enemies. I want to know who are these enemy. I begin to see enemy from the north, northern state of Nigeria. And they begin to say, this man must go down by all means. Then in the realm of the spirit, the Lord now took me there now to look at what is going on. And God will ask me, say, my son, my servant, look at this man. I look at him. The man began to cry. What is my offense? What is my offense? What is my offense? What is my offense? The people and the enemy that surround him, they were not ready to tell him his offense. What they were ready is that by all means, they want to let him go down. But this is what now caused a serious tear. A serious tear. When I look at the tear, I see the ruling party. I see it torn. They tear this one, go this way. They tear the other one, go this way. They tear the other one, go this way. I'm going to ask myself, what is this tear? I see three break up. Pray for the politicians. I see in the realm of the spirit before something happened, a man slumped in the government in the house of a who can remember? Pray for the people that are your senators and the people that are your house of rep. Pray for them because there is a spiritual tea. Hello, there is a spiritual tea they are passing on to them. They are giving them spiritual tea. I begin to ask, who is serving this spiritual tea? They said, this is from the power that be. I don't know the power that be. I don't know. I'm not in there. I'm not a politician. But I see they said, this is the power that be. The power that be is the power that are now kicking people off. They begin to serve tea. They begin to take some of the people in serious post in politics. This only this year. I don't know why. I see them one, two, three. Pray for them. Pray for them. Pray for them. Pray for men of God. Pray for churches. Pray for the house of God. I see serious pressure. This pressure is almost as if, in fact, the, the wind was so much to extend that. I'm going to say, what is next? What is next? They are saying, what is next? Is it to divide? Or what is this? Is this dividing of the country? Or what am I seeing? Let the Holy Spirit take over. Let the Holy Spirit take over. Let the Holy Spirit take over. I see a favor to the southern part of of this nation. I begin to ask what is the favor? I see the president of Nigeria now come out boldly. I begin to ask him, Oga, what is the matter? He say, let me show these people that I'm not wicked. I want to see what I can do and show them so that the people can now build trust and love me. I see now contracts begin to award. I see bridges, I see different roads, I see construction. I don't know. 
But in the realm of the spirit, that is what is written there. That is what is written there. Pray for Nigeria. Pray for Nigeria. Pray for your country. Pray for your leaders. Pray for your leaders. Pray for your what? Your leaders. Pray for your leaders. Rabo King Gabratosata. The Lord took me now to America. Rabo King Malakata. I see the man called Trump. Eh? Donald Trump. Eh? The man is impeached, right? But I see the man continuing. I don't know why. I don't know why. I see the man continuing. I see the man continuing. They say, ah, he was impeached. So he's supposed to. I see him continuing. I see him continuing. I don't know why. I don't know why. And then when I begin to ask questions, they say, is it not better? Let him continue. Let him finish. Let him continue. Parake da grossed in the house. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. But God knows eh, why. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be careful. In the kingdom of darkness, more people has been anointed and pushed out to go and claim men of God. Some people will open native doctor's house and they will call it church. Be careful where you enter. Be careful where you go to worship. Be careful where you are invited to. Be careful because there is a lot of native doctor's house that they will call church. But God said he will expose them. You are not shouting amen. I say, God say he will expose them. God say he will expose them. Every chair you are sitting on, any chair that you sit on, chair of your marriage, take it serious. Chair of your business that you are doing, take it serious. Chair of your position, take it serious. Because there is a wind that is trying to blow people out. A demonic wind. Trying to push people. People that are sitting as chairman of a chair. Or government or whatever. Or a marriage or whatever. Or position. I don't know. But there's a demonic wind blowing. <laughs> if you are not sitting well. Holding yourself. The wind begins to carry some people like this. <laughs> and before the person opens. Ah, what happened? How did it happen? You will not know. I pray for you. It will not affect you. I say I pray for you. It will not affect you. I pray for you. It will not affect you. In the name of Jesus. As far as you are doing business. Try as much as you can. To be straight forward. Do your business without mago mago. A point is coming this year. They will be using money to beg you. Even bank will be giving loans. Serious loans. Serious loans. They will say give people money. Give people money. All these things is to ease the pressure that will come from the international community and the UN and the United States of America and other parts. And then there is going to be another rise of people that will oppose the government. Some you are going to see. Uh, how many of you know about Sowere? 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 There are other rise of people tougher than Sowere that are going to rise. I see serious pressure. Pressure in Nigeria because God wants to shake Nigeria and prepare Nigeria to make a better place for all of us to stay in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus and God began to speak to me and God said to me listen I said yes he said there are other prophets that are not on the altar as a preacher of the church gospel but they are prophets I begin to wonder what kind of prophet is this what is this kind of a prophet? He said, there are other prophets 
that God wants to use. I say, which area do you want to use them? Because this thing, as I'm talking to you now, that is the meeting I am inside, right in the heavenly place, right now as I'm talking to you. I say, what kind of prophet are these? And what are they meant for? Since they are not prophet on the altar to preach the gospel, just as I'm preaching, and God say, these prophets are the prophets I want to use in the government to make sure that the right things are done. And I begin to ask. And God said, I'm going to give you only but one name of the prophet. I said, ah, which person is this prophet? Before I know it, my eyes open. I see a name written. Nam the Kano as a prophet. Hello? Please write whatever I am saying. You will see. And I ask a question. What is this? He said, I want to use him to put things in order. And God say another people are going to rise. I begin to look at a place called Middle Belt. I begin to enter inside Middle Belt. I see myself in a place right within uh, a place called Kogi State. Kogi State. Uh, a part of, uh, of, 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 uh, of uh, this is Kaduna, this is Kogi State, and I begin to enter into those places. I don't know, but God begin to take me, say, within the middle belt, I begin to see a place called Jaws. Eh? Plateau. I begin to see a place called Plateau. In these three places, I see Kogi, I see Kaduna, I see Plateau. Rakando Brahazundi Kata. I see a man rising. A man rising. I want to look in the realm of the spirit. Who is this man? I see the man rising. The man begins to rise. As I'm watching the man, he begins to get taller, 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 taller. Before I know it, the man becomes so tall. The man became so tall, and I began to ask questions. What is this man purpose? And what is this man coming to accomplish? And the Lord say, I'm raising a man from that middle belt people i want to use them to make sure i work on this nation so that my will will be done in nigeria my will can be done in this nation and i begin to ask a question what is this that is going on god said blood of innocent people are crying blood of innocent people are crying then i begin to ask question why is the blood crying God said, some people have been killed under sacrifice. Some people have been killed under hungers. Some people have been destroyed. And their blood is crying. I cannot keep quiet. I am going to raise people, prophets. I said, ah, I think it's only church people that are prophets. He said, no. There are people in the days of old that are used in the government. Even though they are not prophet of the prophecy in the altar as a pastor or a prophet or a church but they are prophets to use and liberate nation just like somebody like David David was a man after God's heart God used him militarily to save the people of Israel and so many other people like that Yadagabos Kindabratakusti Stengeli Krastovra Hazidayazo Mala Kampranto Skebra Hadizo Yenta Karoski Garasta Garaste Goso. I pray for you wherever you are listening to me. If anything negative is not for you, anything negative is not for us. And then the Lord begin to speak to me now that I should tell the people of God everybody should continue to seek the face of God and serve God in spirit and the truth. That as you are busy seeking the face of God and serving God in spirit and the truth, people that will plan evil against you, the evil will backfire to them. He said the evil will backfire to them. And then I begin to ask a question. I said, God, what is going on? God said, now listen to me, my prophet, my son. I want to show you something. I said, what do you want to show me? And he now took me in the realm of the spirit. Then I begin to look. He said, look at these people. I am seeing people now. I'm seeing people. He said, look at the people. I'm seeing the people. He said, watch them well. I'm watching them. I don't know what is about to happen. He said, look at these people. I'm looking at them. He said, there are people that are 
running. They want to make money. They want to make money. God said, no, stop running. You want to make money. Stop pursuing. You want to make money. He said, remain with me. Serve me. Pray to me. I will order your steps and I will command money to come to you. <laughs> I don't know the person, but the way I am seeing it in the realm of the spirit, I see money coming to you. I see money coming to you. I see money finding their way and coming to you. How it is coming, I don't know, but I see God commanding money to come to you. Congratulations. 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 I say congratulations. 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 Yara Gabrosita. The governors in Nigeria. How many governors do we have? How many governors do we have? 36 governors. I see a governor, a sitting governor being removed. Then I will ask, why is this governor removed? I don't know whether I commit crime or there's anything, but I see a sitting governor being removed and replaced. A governor being removed. I don't know what is his offense and what happened. I don't know. I don't know. But a governor being removed and replaced. Ragis Tongorofati Asola Brigado. Brigas Kato Shila da Arazodo. I lift up my hand in the heavenlies. I pray for the best to come to people of God. The best to come to our people in Nigeria. Every citizen of this country, let the Lord give us the best. In the name of God the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We yeah, thank you for watching. I am using this medium to invite you to make it a time, make it a date with us uh, to Glorious Month of Possibility Church International. We are located in Lagos, Nigeria, or Joe, precisely. And if you go on the internet, you can Google the name of this church, Glorious Month of Possibility Church. You will see that God is still at work. God is still using men to speak to men. God is still using a man to speak to our nation. And I want to let you know that your life is a living testimony. If you believe, you are going to come up with a great testimony that people will wonder, how did you get this testimony? You will let them know that God is a faithful God. God bless you until we see you again.